Good evening, and welcome to the 20, 2012 uh, town and school meetings for the town of Shelburne. I have lived in Shelburne since 1994, and I would guess I've been to all but about two, like, two town meetings since then. This is probably my um, 30th uh, town meeting here in Shelburne. Well, we have um, the usual budget items that will be discussed for the school budget and the town budget. Those actually get voted on tomorrow, though, by Australian ballot. We do vote on some things tonight of a lesser magnitude, um, and, and you'll see as you follow along, there are no contested elections this year, but there's always a lot of questions about the budgets, particularly the school budget, because that's a much bigger than the, the town budget, and it, it directly impacts the property tax. Well, the reason I'm here tonight is really kind of watch the process. It's just to see how some of the major players in town are operating, how they're responding to questions. Uh, I'm recently retired, so I have a little more time to give to this kind of effort. So that's really what's drawing me. Well, Shelburne is, is one town that did not put the resolution about the Citizens United Supreme Court case on the ballot. There may be some people who try to bring that up under other business tonight, but that we do the school meeting first and then the town meeting, and that would come up at the end of the town meeting, which might be around 10 or 10.30. We, the voters in Shelburne, Vermont, urge the Vermont legislature to pass a resolution urging our Vermont congressional delegation to support a constitutional amendment to establish that the right of free speech and hence the right to spend funds to influence elections is assigned to individual persons and not to corporations. It has been said, for example, that this is a national issue and not a town issue. Uh, I think it's an issue at every level. The framers did not know that there would be another branch of government, namely the lobbyists. I think if you want to do anything about the political world, we could do uh, maybe go for term limits. But certainly I think the idea that groups uh, which do not have to account their spending. I'm against this resolution because I see that there's two issues here and they're being smeared together. And I have a problem with them being smeared together. In Vermont, we are been lucky so far. If we disagree, we know who's delivering that message. The ayes have it, uh, 61 to 18. We usually get about a 30% turnout for town meeting if, if it's um, if there were a bigger presidential primary, you'd, you'd probably get up to 45 or 48 percent. Um, and there are no contested local elections, so that doesn't bode well for a huge turnout. Although on the good side of things, the weather's supposed to be good. You know, no, no snowstorms. And this is the best way to know what's going on and be part of the process.